morning, Hare Krishna. Today's date is um. Oh wow, I still got my calendar on April. Cause I'm moving slow. Today's date is Sunday, the fourth of May, and I just went to the store to get a butter roll for my son. You know, so as I'm going to the store, a, a European lady approaches me. On the story of Boulevard, 98th Street, she, she approaches me. There's a bodega over there. And she asked me for 50 cents. And I say to her, wow, you know, I'm, I'm on my phone. I'm texting. I'm Twittering, whatever. And I said to her, wow, you and I have something in common because I need 50 cents as well. You know what I'm saying? So she's walking down the block with me. First of all, I don't like strangers coming up to me and, you know, you look, you're looking all jittery and stuff and, moving fast and you got teeth missing from your mouth it's a little scary you know because i was raised in a, in a pretty decent neighborhood in a pretty decent household so i'm not used to these kind of things right so the lady approaches me asked me for 50, 50 cents I say wow we got something in common i need 50 cents as well and her response was to call me an m -er. this was her response a total stranger calls me an m -er because i let her know that at the moment I'm financially distressed and I also need 50 cents so we have something in common. You know, on, a, on another note, maybe we could have worked together and got that dollar, but she wasn't thinking in that way. Her her low vibration response was to call me an m -er. So, I stopped. I looked at her and I said, you can't call me that. Because first I'm looking at her dead in her face. You don't know me from anywhere. Said, and you cannot talk to me like that. That's all I let her know. Didn't curse at her. Didn't get loud. She's a stranger in my area. Verbally assaulting me. So, the purpose of this video is to call on the NYPD to please enforce the streets of East Elmhurst from invading crackheads from other areas, particularly Caucasians. Why? Because I hate to pull a race card, but in this brown-skinned body... I can't even walk through certain areas of Suffolk County. I can't even drive through certain white areas in New York City in 2014. I can't even be at certain places in this brown skin body without being considered a threat to other people's lives and livelihood. I'm on my business. I don't carry no weapons. I don't rob nobody. I don't rape nobody. You understand? I don't steal from nobody. I don't infringe on any other person's right to live. So at least while I'm living in this small community of North Beach, I call upon the NYPD to protect my streets from invading Caucasian crackheads or crackheads from any other race. And once you clean these streets up, because I do pay taxes, and once you clean these streets up, remember now, the NYPD's purpose is not to protect and serve the citizens of the United States. If you look up their law codes, you'll find out the purpose of the police is to protect property. Well, guess what? I have a social security number, so I'm somebody's property somewhere. Somebody is making money off of me. So since you guys are making money off of me and I'm somebody else's property, I asked NYPD to do their job. You see, there's always going to be somebody to sell something as long as there's somebody to buy something. And I'm not an anti-drug dealer crusader. People got to make their ends meet. They got to feed their kids. And 8 out of 10 black males are unemployed. Nor do I support the illicit drug trade. I don't support the illicit drug trade any more than I support Monsanto putting drugs and packaging it as food. Any more than I support a pharmaceutical who will tell you your child is suffering from ADHD or ADD when the man who invented these terms on his deathbed told you there's no such thing as ADHD. There's no such thing as ADDD. The only thing that's missing in society, the reason why these kids got ADHD, is either because of the rise of Monsanto and their genetically modified organisms, or there's no man in the house with a belt to say, boy, if you don't sit your butt down in that class, this is what you're going to get when you get home. That's ADHD. Them boys ain't scared of nobody. They ain't scared of their mama. 
They ain't scared of their grandmama. They need their father or a responsible male figure in the home. So once again, this video is for the NYPD. Please protect this one black male, just one black male, from being assaulted in his own neighborhood by European crackheads. That's all I ask. I don't feel safe in my streets anymore. I think I'm entitled to a little safety in my neighborhood. Because if I even walk through certain neighborhoods, y'all gonna stop me and ask me for my ID. So why can wipe you now? Once we get rid of the crack epidemic, what's next? Glass. If y'all think crack is bad, wait till crystal meth get out here. We're lucky in the five boroughs. It's not an epidemic out here right now, but it will be an epidemic sooner or later. And I'm asking the NYPD to please protect my my neighborhood from crackheads. Thank you. Hare Krishna.